Okay, uh, I thought I'd show you the DC load that I built, um, which is a pretty nice one. Um, not saying it's the greatest design elect electrically, but it seems to work. Um, it does have some nice displays in it that I'll talk about. Um, it's built in an old uh, Hewlett Packard uh, square wave generator or pulse generator or something. Let's see, it had frequency and amplitude and a uh, 600 ohm load and a 50 ohm load trigger input. So it's probably a pulse generator. Um, but probably really low frequency, like up to a megahertz or something. Uh, it's a very old case design, uh, but they built really nice cases back in the old days, so I, I reused the case. Um, so you can see, um, let's see, we'll turn it on. Uh, we have uh, uh, these nice displays. Um, this is a, a five digit display, and this is a five digit display also. Um, so really this thing only does one thing and that's as you turn the current knob up which is a 10 turn pot it just it just goes so let's go ahead and hook up a, a test power supply to it and um, you can see that we have uh, 5 volts and if we uh, crank the knob we start uh, getting um, a load and you can see that we're, we're, we're uh, able to see very small changes uh, which is really nice so we can go up here to uh, to one amp uh, and have lots of resolution both in the volts and the and the amps which is what I was looking for um, I think I have this thing adjusted to go up to 10 amps um, power supply will only go up to 5 but the uh, design is uh, good up to 20 amps and I have a an adjustment that um, limits how many amps it will output and I could easily change that from the 10 amps it's set to now to the 20 amps. Uh, so we can set this thing to say th 3 amps and with a 10 turn pot you can really dial it in a nice um, 0039 and if we look up here at the power supply which is pretty accurate it says 004 <laughs> so that's pretty darn good so it's uh, it's calibrated really well um, let's go ahead and uh, open this thing up and I'll show you how I made it. It's pretty ugly inside, but uh, um, that's what hand wired that's what hand wired stuff looks like. So the top comes off with just two screws in the back and then this top piece uh, comes off and uh, we can see inside. So let's see what's the best thing to do. I'll turn it around and uh, tip it up. let me uh, let me find something to balance it on. Uh, that's not going to work. Um, let me try this. I think that's pretty good. Uh, maybe I'll move the, uh, move the camera in a bit. There we go. So, um, there is a power supply in here. There's a transformer back here. That's the original transformer in the um, of the pulse generator. And so I'm using the output of that generator to come over here into a bridge rectifier and a capacitor. And uh, this is a 317 regulator. Uh, so I can regulate the voltage. So this is my own, my own power supply. Um, this is the FET that I'm using, uh, which is a uh, I can't read it. It's too small. Where's my magnifying glass here? It is an a, a uh, IFRZ44, and I think that's something really, really big in amps. Uh, but I got them cheap off of eBay once. So I've got a bunch of those, so a Z44. Um, the other thing you'll see here is a thermal switch. It's a by uh, by. Um, metallic thermal switch it's quieter um, and if the heat sink gets this is a big heat sink in here if the heat sink gets too hot this will fire and it turns on a fan down here so uh, I didn't like this thing originally because I had the fan on all the time and it just makes too much noise so I have it now that uh, if it starts to get really really hot the fan will come on otherwise it won't come on um, and that's been great because it's, it's dead quiet now. 
Uh, let's see, there's a load resistor here. Uh, so this is the resistor that monitors the uh, uh, amount of current through the thing. This is something like a 0.1 ohm. Uh, we'll look at the schematic. I forget what, what value that is, but it's a low value resistor, high wattage. It's also on the heat sink. And then down here is the circuit, again on one of those old gold prototype boards from Hewlett Packard. Um, there's a quad op amp here. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, let me tilt you over to the front panel. Uh, so the front panel just has uh, these two modules in it uh, for current and voltage. Uh, this is an expensive 10-turn uh, pot that was in the junk bin. And, um, yeah, BNCs. That's about it. Uh, the back. Uh, this is the transformer. Um, and it's all original. The back is all original, so it has the old-style AC connector and the old HP logo with the round, uh, round uh, logo. Uh, Hewlett Packard Burbling. Oh, this is from Burbling. Uh, so we had a division in Germany um, that those guys were great. They designed really good stuff. And this came out of the Burbling division out of uh, West Germany. So a um, bit of history there. Um, yeah, let's uh, find a schematic. So if you're building your own stuff, you build them and then you forget where you put anything. So, um, this is the top, and I put the schematic underneath the uh, top cover. Uh, so we can zoom in on that and uh, take a look. Let me uh, move the camera over. Excuse the, excuse the camera work. Alright. Uh, let's see here. Let's try to get in as much as we can. Good. Um, so, uh, this is the resistor to monitor the current. It's a 0.05 ohm resistor. Uh, this is that uh, IFR44 chip. The, so this is the input. So the current uh, goes through the FET, through the resistor, and out again. So these are the two BNCs. Not BNCs. Um, banana jacks, sorry. The two banana jacks. The red and the black. Uh, the um, FET is driven uh, with an op amp. There's a 1K limiting resistor uh, in, the, uh, in the gate just for protection in case something shirts out. Um, there's a, a roll off uh, capacitor to slow, slow edges down, a 0 0.01. Um, the voltage that's monitored across this resistor is monitored across uh, ground to here and that also comes into the uh, op amp. So the op amp's job is to keep these two voltages the same. So this voltage is the one measured across the resistor and this voltage is coming from someplace else. So where it comes from is a uh, voltage regulator so it's stable and very accurate. It's a TL uh, 431, so a very accurate two and a half volt uh, reference. That reference is then set um, into this uh, uh, follower. Uh, this is just a buffer. And uh, the range that you can adjust this over is this pot. So this is the 10 turn pot. It's a 100k pot. And so you can adjust it up and down. So it goes to a full amount of current to minimum amount of current. And the full amount of current is limited by this uh, potentiometer. So this is the one that would limit it to 10, 10, um, 10 amps maximum. And I could adjust this up to make it 20 amps maximum or 30 amps maximum. I think this FET can handle quite a bit. Um, but I just keep it low. Um, so that's the feedback loop uh, right here across this resistor. And this just sets the, uh, sets the voltage that will set the current. Uh, we want to monitor how much current we have, so we're going to take that voltage that we've been monitoring and just display it. Um, and we want to be able to adjust that 
Uh, so there's a, a potentiometer down here to be able to adjust uh, what we read here. And we want to be able to read it uh, in amps. So there's a 0.05 factor, so you need to multiply that up a bit. So this is a, a 1K to, to 20K uh, resistor divider, so you can set this to read the right amount of amps. Uh, this is the power supply again with the bridge rectifier and uh, 317 adjustable. Plus, this thing runs all of the plus 12. Um, and the only other thing that's missing off the schematic is the uh, other display, which I added at a later time. I, I built it first with the amps, um, and I said, oh no, I really want to know what the volts are as well. So I have a. Um, a second one of these um, displays that monitors the voltage and that would just go to this pin here. This is the voltage out, right? Um, and so it's just a simple uh, voltage. I don't think it even needs any uh, adjustment or anything. It's just measuring the voltage actually right here uh, across the across the uh, banana jacks. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, that's my dirty work and circuit design and uh, like I said seems to work pretty good